Welcome to a quick introduction on how you can create a model in SAP Analytics Cloud. So let's take a very simple example. We start with the menu create, we select the option model, and we're using a spreadsheet in our example as the data source. So after we selected the file and we click import, we're being presented with the data from the spreadsheet. As a first item that we want to do in our example is that we would like to split the year and the month into separate columns. So we select the column, we use the transform option split, and in our case, we use the delimiter dot. And as you can see, now the columns are being separated. A second item that we would like to fix is actually a spelling mistake in the column region. We select the column and we can see, for example, the second entry for Michigan is misspelled. So we select the item from the data quality screen and then we can fix all the items with a single step by simply choosing to replace the text with a new text that we can enter. So after we resolved the problem of the spelling mistake for Michigan, we are simply going to actually fix the column headers for our year and our month. And then we are going to configure our customer columns ID and description to basically combine them and what we're going to do is we'll take the customer ID and we configure the customer name as description. So we choose the customer ID column, we add the attribute description and we select the customer name as the attribute for the customer ID. So now we can see on the right hand side we have all the measures and we have longitude and latitude. So we also want to do a quick geo enrichment. So we're going to enable the option for geo enrichment by coordinates. We enter a dimension name, and then we're choosing the longitude and latitude. And in our case, the location ID is the city. As you can see now on the right hand side, SAP Analytics Cloud created a new column which combines the longitude and latitude values into one column and we will be able to use this dimension to create maps. So now after we configured all the elements in the data, we go back to our model details. So here we can see the model details. We fulfilled all the requirements and we're ready to validate all the data that we have and then create the model. So first we validate all the information and everything is okay. So we can now go ahead, create the model and save the model into our repository for SAP Analytics Cloud. So the model is now being created and all the data is being loaded into SAP Analytics Cloud. And when the model is finished, we can see which data has been loaded and which dimension and measures have been created now as part of the model. So we can see here now as part of the data management of the model, that the one spreadsheet that we had has been loaded. And if we would like, we can load additional data into the model. And we can also see the model details now with the list of dimensions and a list of measures. In regards to 
the properties of the model. We can also see further details, such as the model name, the description, what will come to data level security, in case of a fiscal year or planning, as well as the currency details. This finishes this session, and next time we will use the model to create our first story. I want to say thank you for listening.